Hi, and welcome back to, to Brad uh, Kitchen. I've grown a beard since the last time you saw me because the passage of time is inescapable. And no one knows when we're going to die. But it's inevitable. No one knows what's on the other side of that black curtain, but we all have to go there. And you're powerless to stop it. Anyway, let's make pretzels. This time, we're making pretzels. Similar to bagels, but also different. Once again, if you're looking for specifics in ingredients and amounts of ingredients, um, here, there you go. It's right there, again, that's not what this is about. You're missing the point. And we've got a bowl big enough to handle this, so I'm learning from my mistakes. Oh no, this bowl is definitely too small. Slowly. You don't have to be entirely skilled, but similar to bagels, there's an extra step that scares a lot of people off. Lie. So if caustic sodas don't bother you, then you're fine. This is gonna be a walk in the park. I have the butter and the salt here. I combine them for a reason. I chop the butter up. That is gonna come in handy if you're doing this by hand. I didn't do this on purpose. I'm just bad at estimating how much butter weighs. In this bowl, I hold the bread flour, the yeast, and malt powder. We talked about malt powder last time. Malt powder just adds a little bit of sweet, mm, wheat flavor. Now that this is all in here, we we get our we get our fingies dirty. Oh no, that could have killed me. Oh no. Oh no. This is gonna be going through a lot in the next few minutes. This is the iconic point where I just want to quit. <sighs> but my ball's not smooth enough. <sighs> you know, maybe I could get away with just not needing it enough. We can work that into the storyline. He's pretty well needed, but he's not there yet. You can tell because I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the window pane test, but if you rip him apart, you want to be able to see a little bit of light, and we ain't got that here. It'll rip eventually. But there's a very visible change between window pane ready and window pane deady. So this is a little bit window pane deady. It's undermixed, and if you're doing it by hand, it's probably going to be undermixed. Good news though, because pretzels for this recipe have two rises. They have one hour rise, a fold, another hour rise. And that can make up for a little bit of um, <clears throat> under mixing. I am gonna let it sit well aware that it's under mixed. So in case you under mix it, this will be the video for you. If you mix it normally, there are thousands of other videos that you could watch. So go watch those. I'm just gonna place this back in here. We'll put something over top and we'll let it sit. Through the use of movie magic, we're gonna speed it up. Boom, welcome. Time has passed. All we're doing is a stretch and a fold. If you can't figure out from context clues what that means, uh, we're just gonna stretch it. At least four times. Let it stretch, let gravity do the work. This will help a lot with gluten development. It also helps even out the temperature. Take some outside bits, put them inside. Once again, 
into the bowl. One more hour and then we'll do the fun stuff. done it, we've waited all that we need to wait, two hours. We started with a slightly under mixed dough and now if you will take a moment to gaze you'll see that the window pane test does much much better. Still rips but obviously it's, it's much more glutenized. So now we're going to take our lump and divide it into six equal parts. Now for all of you, oh geez, that one's a big boy. I can't, this is so off. We're gonna pre-shape these guys into little baby snakes. I guess they're not baby snakes, they're kind of fat. Big earthworms. We got these guys pre-shaped. They're just gonna rest for five minutes-ish. Covered if possible. I don't know if it is possible here. A towel probably would work. Let's try that. Good night. All right. It's, let's, let's shape. The towel didn't work great. They dried out a little bit, but don't worry because we have the little trick. Wet my hands at the surface. Now, ready for this? That's it. That's how you do it. You're probably not gonna do that your first time. To hold it on both ends, make a U, and then just fold it over itself. You can do that as many times as you want. It doesn't matter, it's just a piece of food. And then fold it down, and there you go. Look at that tensile strength. <laughs> Twist and tuck. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Pretzel. For this one, I'm gonna do a different thing. I'm gonna do a different thing. Try and stop me. This is not a pretzel, so don't follow along. Don't follow along anymore, stop it. We're gonna make a little rose or a flower. I don't know, mash the ends together. So spiral them and then just spiral the spirals. Bag a gum. You have a thing. Okay, yeah, so here you go. Look at these beauties. These are gonna go in the fridge overnight like any bread should. I'm gonna cover them. I don't have plastic. I found out towels don't work great. I have another sheet pan. Why is it wet? I'm just gonna put it on top like that. I think it'll work. Goes in the fridge until tomorrow. I say 24 hours, it doesn't have to be exactly 24 hours. Who cares? If you make something and you like it, good for you. We're back. It's the next day. It's been 24 hours for me. It's been several minutes for you. You can tell time has passed because of my outfit. My outfit is different, so just proof that it's later. Let's check on the pretzels. All right, yeah, they don't look too bad. This has been a full 24 hours for these guys. So they are, uh, oof. They may be a little underproved. Are they underproved? They're not too bad. They're probably just undermixed. If you wanna make them the same day, I recommend at least 30 minutes in the fridge just to let them firm up a little bit when you dip them. Speaking of dip them, 
We're gonna dip them. I've got a glass bowl with just dumb old water. We're gonna add some lye. I am just gonna eyeball the amount. If you wanna get picky and measure it, you want a 3% solution. You might need some gloves. If you do get anything like this on you, call a doctor. Don't get your advice from a random person on YouTube. I have my utensil, stainless steel, that we're gonna mix it with. Don't hold your head over the, over the, over the concoction. We have our dangerous solution now of lye and water. 3% lye, 97% water. Is that how that works? No, it'd be different, I think, slightly. I'm not a math person. 3% lye. Let's get to dipping. Sit for five seconds and then undip. You can place it on another a baking sheet with parchment paper. I've got this silicone mat. I've never used it for this purpose, so we're gonna find out together if this works. Can I do two at a time? Is that yeah, we're gonna speed this process up. Okay. We drain. We place, we place. Last one. Now we have pretzel salt. This is just really thick, uh, big boy salt. I sprinkle. I got the oven set to 500 and they're gonna go in for 14 minutes. We'll do that and then we'll look at them and then we're gonna eat them. And away we go. Ah, it's so hot. We're done with this now, so we're gonna kill it. Earlier I gave the cats catnip so they would be calm while I did this. Now it's just falling asleep, sitting up. I really hope they come off of that silicone mat. All right, let's see what they look like still. All right. They're a little light. There wasn't enough lye in my solution. It's a failure. Denny! What? Do you want one? Yeah. I'm not as dark as you make them at the shop. I know. You're also on camera, I'm recording on Oh god, do not use anything of me on camera. Why? Because I'm in my pajamas. You're hot. Stop it. <laughs> oh good, it worked. It's it cool. works, the silicone thing works. I love a soft pretzel. You can see it's skimming. It's so hot and fresh. <laughs> it's so hot. They're not as dark as I usually like them, but that's because I didn't measure the lye solution. Be better than me, measure. That'll get the nice dark coating on them that you see on traditional German pretzels. You can dip them in anything. You could cover them in anything. It doesn't just have to be salt. The world is your Bread. There's my almost pretty good attempt at pretzels. If you like this, I did a pretty good attempt at bagels and baguettes as well. Pay attention to all of these because there will be a test at the end. And if you fail the test, I will come to your house and punch you. I don't ever know how to end. Are you talking to me or the camera? I'm just talking. Well, you wanna give them uh, a call to action. Act. 